Is this a bubble land? Hiya guys, hope you all are doing good. Your boy is back with my dear friend Nokoten episode 11 review so let's start the hunt. At first we see Koshi look out the school window before glancing at Nokoten, who is asleep with bubbles coming out of her horns. Koshi tries to wake her, but Nokoten's antlers block the attempt. Suddenly, birds fly into the classroom and perch on Nokoten's antlers. After a few minutes, Koshi wonders why no one is reacting to this strange situation. The narrator explains it's just a typical my dear friend Nokoten moment. Nokoten wakes up, mentions someone's tag is still on, and everyone panics. The narrator adds that no work got done that day. The term, living in your own bubble, can literally be applied to Nokoten, although I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Also narrator San stop mocking the show that pays you. Later, a man dressed like a samurai approaches the school. Nokoten wakes up, sensing something is wrong, and hides. The man, named Kumatori, introduces himself to Koshi as a Matagi hunter. After he leaves, Koshi tries to report him, but Nokoten reveals herself, explaining that it's the day of the deer and Kumatori is trying to capture her. Kumatori searches the school, but two girls distract him, allowing Nokoten to flee. He sets up cameras to track her, but they fail. Eventually, he finds Nokoten on the rooftop. As Koshi arrives, Nokoten warns her to stay back, preparing to fight Kumatori. Before the fight, Kumatori's wife calls, asking him to bring Radishes home. He leaves, and Nokoten celebrates, vowing to defeat him next time. Kumatori is then stopped and arrested by two officers. Maybe I'm just a tad too old for this type of humor, but the whole hunting part didn't feel funny to me in the slightest, rather it felt so dragging that I kinda got annoyed. At the end we see that some time later, Koshi and Nokoten are in the Deer Club's clubroom. Nokoten is wearing a tracksuit because her school uniform is at the cleaners. They leave to buy Nokoten a new tracksuit, as her current one is ripped. Nokoten spots some plastic bottles and hides. Koshi helps her, and they go for a jog, but end up in the same spot again, so they decide to return to the clubroom. Koshi sews Nokoten's tracksuit, and Nokoten thanks her, but accidentally tears it again. Koshi offers to fix it and mentions wanting her life to stay the same. She then notices Nokoten is missing and asks Bashame and Anko, but they don't know who she's talking about, leaving Koshi confused. Koshi, that's so sweet of you, you truly love your deer very much don't you? Also Nokoten, aren't you the strongest deer, then why are you scared of some tiny plastic bottles? By the way, it's pretty obvious that the cliffhanger will lead to a gag reference of some sort. Sorry guys this video turned out to be super short, but there wasn't really anything that I could crack jokes about or discuss. Nonetheless, this was probably the weakest episode of this anime for me thus far. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.